she's come a long way. She was really hard to handle when I first got her from her previous keeper. I mean, she's she didn't behave anything like this. She was constantly in and out of my arms. She wanted to get away. All she wanted to do was escape and didn't want anything to do with being handled. Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Welcome back to the vlog channel. Today, we're gonna do a very much more kind of run and gun style vlog. Go kind of old school on it and, and just go. And just go and bring you along for pretty much most of the day. At the end of the day, I'm really hoping that we're going to pop in on my buddy Scott Bolter a few hundred miles from here, and he's gonna be either A, pulling a retic clutch, or B, hashing out a really cool clutch of clown ball pythons, or C, both. First, let's take a look at this. This is one of the egg boxes for our upcoming blood python clutch that we're hashing out soon. You can see this one looks like it's maybe going bad. I've kind of put this to separate it so it's not messing with the other ones, but I'm gonna hold on and see what happens. I think it might be going bad though. It's not looking such a great color, but I haven't given hope on, up on it yet. Obviously this one's starting to sink in, so I th think we're getting closer to hatch date. Really excited to see these blood pythons come out of the egg because, well, I mean, who doesn't love seeing baby blood pythons come out of eggs? Probably a lot of people, but I'm not on that list. I don't think a lot of you guys are either, so can't wait for that. Yes, yes, lots of things to do today. Here, look Look at this. I got this stuff on my arm here. It looks like it's like ringworm or a thing. Hillary says it's probably candida, which is likely accurate because of how much sugar I've been eating recently, really kind of going to town on the ice cream. Look at that stuff, it's just so good. I'm working on it, working on it, working on it. What's up, Beans? Hey. <laughs> how you doing? Good. The uh, chicken duty. Mm, that looks tasty. That looks healthier than ice cream. Yeah, you got two. Two half gallons. Hey, Scrimmies. What? What do you know? I know. Uh... Dino teeth. What about dino teeth? That's some more razor sharp and they have the like edges on their teeth and T-Rex is already the biggest and Indominus Rex have so many teeth and they're so sharp and that's all I know. Wait, is Indominus Rex a real dinosaur? No. What do you know? I know. Legos. What about Legos? That there are a bunch of different kinds of Legos. And they come in different colors. They're humans, dinosaurs, and all of the beyond. And that's all I know. That's all? That's I everything? said all the beyond. What do you know? I know about... Snakes. You know about snakes? What about snakes? And you made a mistake. Huh? Remember that you made a mistake? Yeah, I remember Junior made a mistake, but what, what, <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, drink this from up there, and that's all I know. <laughs> Alright, well I gotta get some work done in the office before we take off and hit the road and get on that mission we're going on, but I'm gonna invite you guys to come along with me the whole day! Aren't you so lucky? Just put up a whole bunch of snakes on the Freedom Breeder website. There's even a sunset on there. There's like Arroyo Rio stuff. If you guys haven't checked it out, now might be the time to check it out. All right, so I've got about, eh, about an hour or so before I gotta go pick up the rental car to get going. So I figured it's a good time to get my daily workout challenge in. I've been doing this 30 day workout challenge that I've been honestly slipping on sometimes, but I, I make up when I, when I slip a day. I make up for it the next day and I just made up for like four days the other day so my legs are still a little bit going but I got, actually I think I have to do two days today. We got 65 squats, 75 second plank, 80 reverse crunches, 80 lunges, 80 push ups, 85 crunches and an 80 second wall sit. 
And that's what we're doing. that again before the day is over. All right guys, day 23 in the books. Generally, generally, generally I've been doing a lot of walking, including walking to go get the rental car and just basically anywhere I'm going that's within a couple miles or a few miles or even five miles, I'm just walking, 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 walking. However, today we're on a slight time crunch, so uh, I'm not walking today. The weather can't make up its mind if it wants to be cloudy or sunny or what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Are you a YouTuber? Yeah, dude. Here, look up the channel. All right. Yeah, you too. Uh, it's called a one wheel. I wonder if we'll ever get to see a movie here again. Hopefully. I really hope so. Ah, Mazda! Zoom zoom! I pick up some supplies in the house. <laughs> Don't worry about where all that stuff is, top secret. Now usually I get some fancy shots while we're on the drive here, but we're really actually on a kind of a time crunch. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna get there, right? Let's go. Oh man, a long couple hundred and fifty miles. Let me tell you what, man, it is long today. I feel tired, I feel tired. I feel like I went too far, I feel like I did too much. Dude, look at all these racks going out. This is crazy, dude. Lots of racks, lots of racks. Wow, oh my gosh. I might have to get the drone out to see all this. This is, wow, dude. Intense, I've never seen it this full out front like this. It must be even more loaded inside. Where's he hiding at? He's not here? No, he's at home. <laughs> just he's just like here. Oh, guys. I like your hat, Brian. Thanks. You want one? Yeah, please. <coughs> Yeah. Oh, thank you. I need a back though. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Don't give us his back seat, sorry. <laughs> Jesse must have heard I was coming. I guess he left right before I got here. Came here to film some video with him. He's not answering my phone call, not answering my text message. Might just have to go over there and drag him back! Look who finally decided to show up. I've been hours later, hours later, now we're finally doing video and recording. I didn't think he was gonna come. I thought he forgot about me completely, just playing on his phone all day, just doing la la la. Ha! I'm definitely, I had almost forgotten about you. You showed up hella late. <laughs> I showed up right when I said I was going to, by the way. But, dude, check out the videos that are gonna be coming out this week, this month, this decade on the Freedom Bridge. It's a new decade. 
Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. This is the start of the new decade. This is the start. We don't count last year. Nobody should count last year. Yeah, last year didn't really count, did it? No, nah, last year didn't count. What this was brand last new. year? Mm, I don't know. I, don't, I never heard anything. Well, yeah, we don't nah, need that. No, nah, we don't talk about that anymore. That's in the past. New stuff going forward. Make sure you check out the Freedom Breeder channel in the video down below. Some, what are the kids saying these days? Some fire bloopers. Yeah. <laughs> Am I, those going to be my bloopers? <laughs> Yeah, seriously. You guys probably thought I was joking, but I was, and it's nighttime now. We did finish recording the Freedom Breeder video. Freedom Breeder videos was good because I came way out here to do it at specifically. Um, and now I'm going to go head over to Scott's and see if something's happened with the snakes. All right, let's go. Well, look, you're in the video anyway. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> he didn't want to be in the video, but there he is. This is the only time, this is the only angle where Scott's going to look that much smaller than me. Look at how small you are compared to me, Scott. I guess squish your head. Squish, squish, squish. <laughs> so his retic has not laid the clutch yet, so we're not going to be pulling any retic eggs. Um, and the clown clutch is not quite hashed yet, not, not quite pipping, so I wanted to not leave you guys completely empty-handed on some cool snake action. This is a four-year-old Kalatoa female super dwarf reticulated python. If you guys are familiar with reticulated pythons, four years old, look at this thing. Check this out. Let me see if I can get my face in closer. Not do the, the weird, uh, even if I do the forced perspective thing, it still looks like a small snake. Oh, oh, hi. <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful snake? Isn't that a beautiful snake? Isn't it? Isn't it a beautiful snake? It's four years old and it's super small. Even by the standards of a python ball. I'm glad you're used to me, Scott. Yeah, neither way, brother. Oh! <laughs> oh no. Sorry, I'm gonna let her go through. Yeah, let her go through. <clears throat> well, I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Aloha. Say bye, Scott. Bye. <laughs>